In this video, we are talking about block to polyspermy. So what is polyspermy? Polyspermy is penetration of multiple sperms into one ovum. So polyspermy is not beneficial to the formation of the embryo. The polyspermy can cause the death of the embryo. After penetration of one sperm inside the ovum, the polyspermy is prevented in two ways. The fastest working mechanism is called fast block polyspermy which happens within 30 seconds of the penetration of the first sperm. What this does is it changes the membrane potential of the ovum. The resting membrane potential of the ovum is negative that is minus 70 millivolt. After penetration of one sperm, the sodium channels on the egg cells open and sodium ions gets inside the ovum. Because of this influx of the positive charge as sodium ions, the membrane potential of the ovum changes. Due to this change in membrane potential from negative to positive, the further entry of multiple sperms is blocked within 30 seconds. But this mechanism cannot prevent sperms for long time. So there is another mechanism for the prevention of the sperm entry and that mechanism is called slow block polyspermy. It starts after the 20 seconds of the first sperm penetration and completes within one minute. For better understanding of this mechanism, I would recommend you to watch the previous video that is on the fertilization. This mechanism starts when the sperm binding protein interacts with the EBR receptor of the vitiline membrane of the egg. So when this interaction occurs, the calcium channels in the endoplasmic reticulum of the ovum opens. As a result, calcium comes out of the endoplasmic reticulum and increases the concentration of calcium in the cytoplasm of the ovum. There are some granular vesicles present in the cytoplasm of the ovum. These granules are called cortical granules. Due to the increase in calcium in the cytoplasm, these cortical granule vesicles fuse with the plasma membrane of the ovum and the granules are released in the space between the plasma membrane and the vital line membrane. This space is known as perivitaline space. So the granules are released in the perivitaline space. Now these granules digest the EBR receptors on the vitaline membrane. These receptors are destroyed so that further sperm, the sperm binding, cannot interact with these receptors to get inside the ovum. So these EBR receptors are destroyed. In the next step, the vitiline membrane is thickened by the chemicals present in the cortical granules. This thickened vitiline membrane is now called fertilization envelope. This will prevent the penetration of further sperms inside the ovum. The third thing that is the glucosaminoglycan which is present in the cortical granules, this absorbs water in the perivitaline space. So due to the absorption of water, this space widens, that is it swollens up so that the fertilization envelope goes away from the plasma membrane of the ovum. The penetration of sperm gets harder. This is how polyspermy is prevented after fertilization by one sperm. The full page photographs will be available in Instagram and Facebook. Thank you.